Hey everybody, um, so I think this is going to be the last video I'm going to do about um, the other side of um, gibbering hordes. I've definitely got a lot of bang for my buck out of the lot that I got on eBay. I think I paid like $60 for, um, it was like one of those like Kickstarter kind of, you know, army in a box things that, that they made and then uh, somebody painted a couple of them and didn't like it or something or, you know, probably just have too many games and um, it's like if you, if you have that problem, just put them on eBay, give them to somebody else who wants them. But yeah, I, um, I've really liked these minis. The, um, uh, the sculpts have been really, really gorgeous. And, uh, I've never actually played a weird miniatures game, but I really like their minis. <laughs> so being a mini collector, I like their, their minis. But, uh, anyways, yeah, these, these guys are going to see some use, um, in my game, I'm doing like pirate stuff for D&D. Uh, &D. So uh, these uh, crab guys are definitely going to see some use in future games. They can think of all kinds of things that they could be in D&D. All kinds of useful stuff, monsters. So anyways, we'll get into the painting. All right, so um... These guys have, um, they've already gotten a, a Zenithal Prime and I've gotten some, uh, some bases ready for them and stuff. Uh, so first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these guys a coat of some kind of like a, uh, very light brown, sort of a yellow ochre tone. And then I think I'm going to work from that, but I'm going to use uh, a mix of uh, game ink and uh, model air and um, yeah this is becoming like a recurring theme in all of my mini painting videos lately so the the model air it mixed with the game ink is not totally opaque it's gonna um, show through you know the zenithal prime is gonna show through and then it's gonna dull down the glossiness of the inks and uh, run through the airbrush really good so okay we'll get going with that general tone down. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is uh, start to work on the little legs. So this, these guys are going to have some, uh, well, they're basically based on like coconut crabs. So I'm looking at some reference right now. I'm looking at some, uh, some art and then uh, I think I'm gonna use the airbrush to do this I think it's gonna be easier to use the airbrush so I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna change I'm not even gonna uh, do a quick change on the colors I'm just gonna mix some color more colors straight into the airbrush Okay, 
just did a, a quick little color change there with some Windex. And now I'm gonna do some uh, browns. for airbrushing for right now. I think I'm gonna do the rest of this with like the wet palette and dry brushing, at least these, the, the models. And then I'll go back to basing later. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna let these guys dry and then I'm gonna take the dog for a walk. All right, these guys are dry to the touch. Um, you can see like the the inks tend to like to dry a little bit glossier um, and I'm fine with that but uh, you know this is they're supposed to be like seashells so it's fine if they're a little bit glossy I don't want them ultra glossy um, but uh, I'm gonna do some more ink washes I'm gonna use this uh, flesh wash this kind of brown flesh wash and then some more of the yellow too and i'm going to kind of try and control it a little bit and put this in the highlights and then this in the uh, shadows but these guys are going to get an all over coat with this Now, while that's still slightly wet, I'm gonna start doing some wet blending on these guys. Uh, I kind of start getting more into the details, less abstract.
Okay, that's where we're at now. I did a little bit of weaponing, some feathering stuff. Uh, so these guys are looking a little bit stark, like they, they have a lot of contrast, which is good. Um, but I think I want to kind of uh, tone a little bit of that down. Um, so I'm going to do some just like kind of stippling stuff on these guys just to kind of um, just add some kind of, you know, break up some of this uh, um, you know, stark lights and darks. So this is kind of like a mid, this is sort of in between. Like this is going to be in between the um, the the darkest dark or the darkest brown and the lightest kind of white. So I'm just going to kind of go around and like um, put some little put some little dots in places like that. Just to kind of tone down the. Um, contrast a little bit. Should have the wet palette. Decided to use the ink wall, but I should have the wet palette out right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna um, go around and kind of do, do a little bit of that on these guys and that should give me some some cool looking kind of shell you know effects. What I'm gonna do is um, I've tried this before on something else. Um, not on well, actual little model before, but what I'm gonna try is I've got this like cheesecloth kind of stuff, um, and then I want to like stretch it over them and then do some like kind of little spots of uh, stuff. Um, so. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a um, some uh, blue and some purple and, uh, and get it to the right consistency for the airbrush and then I'm going to spray it through this sock thing.
Okay. That's a huge improvement to me. Like, that just adds so much interest and just kind of, like, really makes their shells pop, I think. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, success. Um, so, actually, I think I'm going to call these guys. And, like, I could keep going, you know, further and do... I'm, I'm, I can think of a few things that could keep going and do with these guys, but um, I'm happy with them uh, for now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, well, one, a few more things. <laughs> uh, we, eventually I'm going to base these guys, uh, do, but uh, first I'm going to do a little bit of a wash. i do some black and some kind of purple on these guys to just kind of tie everything together. So... Judge me, gloves are hard to come by right now. Some full way hope model there. I'm not going to do anything fancy, I'm just going to do a little bit of tire brushing. And I'm using a, um, a makeup brush. These are nice, they're just super, they're, the bristles are super, super soft. Great for dry brushing. Darkest, lightest. And we'll put the least uh, the light colors on last.
Okay. Pop these guys down on their bases and call it good. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be it, you guys. I know it's a little bit longer of a video than usual. I'm trying out a little bit different format. Um, I actually, uh, I've been watching many painting videos, like ASMR videos on YouTube. Like, I'll put on some chill music and just watch some painting and it helps me fall asleep at night. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thanks for uh, watching the video and um, hope you're all taking care of yourselves and Wash your hands, brush your teeth, um, just stay, stay healthy, stay sane, paint some stuff, and keep from going crazy. That's what I'm doing. 